Okay, so it is the 2nd of October 2018 and I know everybody hates me and I know everybody wants me dead. Um, I'm hanging on the string. It's like a reality show and to see who can survive and who ends up um, dead. So I told you I had an argument with my son the day after my birthday. My birthday was okay. I went to the cinema, I had my hair dyed, my parents were giving me a camera for a birthday present. There was no party, there was no cake, there was no lots of friends. I was left by myself in the evening with, with a cake and some candles and a bottle of plonk. Um, my son's neighbours thought that was hilarious. Cheers, guys. Um, so I've left my clothes and stuff at his, and I thought I left my utility card. And I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to go back up there and get my stuff. And my electricity meter is very low, and it's cold, and I can't afford to put the heating on. I can't ha afford to have my hot water in my bath. So yesterday morning, I went on to Utilitas site and asked for a replacement card. And it says that replacement cards will be sent the next day. So the post has just been, and I have not had my Utilitas card. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck in my property. Um, with not being able to put the heat on, it's not that cold yet because the heating wasn't on in the doctor's surgery yesterday. Um, and I've been finding it quite warm at night anyway, so th that that's no problem. But so Utilita have not sent me my electric card, or it's not come this morning. Um, I'm sick of Utilita and their attitude, and I want to change the company. Um, they have charged me, They got, when I do get a card, they charge £6 for a replacement electricity card. Six quid. So they're just out making money. Um, I've just had a horrendous few days. I was ill in bed. And my other son rang me 22 times, 22, and then accused me of ignoring him when I was in bed violently sick, and has left me a voicemail message, which is probably really nasty. Can I just explain that I wasn't ignoring anybody. I've been violently ill and sick in and out of bed for three days. I've been throwing up, I've been I've been breathing difficulty and I'm struggling to get down the stairs and even take the rubbish out. Um, when you feel ill, having an argument makes you feel worse, so I've got depressed as well. Um, but there's no need to leave rude voicemail messages. I'm not a bit. I'm not ignoring anybody, I wasn't well, and obviously when you're not well, you don't feel like picking up the phone, so I wasn't ignoring anyone, um, at one point I felt in danger and thought I was going to have to win, ring women's aid and women's refuge and get out of my flat, but I love my cat. I don't see why I should be moved and I don't see why people should be intimidating me and frightening me. I've done nothing wrong. I speak the truth and to be so afraid to go out of your flat is not right. Um, I was also intending to go down to the police, um, not because of David, but because of that man that's hovering around him, this Steve, and the, the frightening things he's been saying in front of me, and I went in his car for once and he drove it really fast. I don't know who this guy is, but he scares the shit out of me. 
And to say to David, um, my mum died in front of me the other night. I, I was terrified. You just don't say things like that in front of somebody who's nervous. And David had told him I wasn't well. Um, and he keeps bringing chicken round. And you know, that joke's old. I ain't a chicken. I fight them till the end, even with my dying breath. So fuck off.